when we use it in the strip till, we see more results, and you'll see that in that report, that eight-page report when you look it over. <coughs> it's not snake oil, guys. It is not. It does some things, and when we use it with our slow-release fertilizers in furrow, Lee, I saw some good things, but it wasn't quite to the extent that I thought we saw and we did see with it uh, in the strip till. So we're going to try some more things next year. What we did this year uh, with Mark's product, we put 16 ounces to the acre in the strip till, and I can walk you down and so can Mark and show you which plots are which. The corn is greener, the corn is taller, and the leaves are bigger, bigger in width, especially at the ear leaf. So those are some of the things that we look at. What else we find when you go underground is we're finding more roots. A, a corn plant has the potential prior to you getting to the adventitious roots, that's these, these big brace roots, those are the adventitious roots. Prior to that, you have the potential to produce 72 roots. And last year, some of the uh, FD Sciences product was giving us 60 to 66 roots before we had the adventitious roots shoot out. <coughs> that plant was a go-getter. 